started with the panel, I want to pop up. Can we can we show that 86 percent graphic, please, before we talk to everybody? Uh, according to a local NBC affiliate, about 86 percent of those arrested in Minneapolis from Friday to Saturday listed Minnesota as their address. Um, interesting. A lot of going back and forth about where people are, are from and where they're not. Kennedy, I come to you with your thoughts on it. Uh, yes, it's it's the people who really want to stir it up, and it's this sort of protest tourism that we see time and time again, whether it's a police protest. I remember the WTO riots in Seattle. It started as almost performance theater and civil disobedience, and it was very well coordinated. Uh, the marches, and then the anarchists came in. They were not Antifa yet, uh, but we saw them with their black bandanas, and, and that's when they started breaking stuff, uh, breaking Starbucks windows, breaking into businesses, and this is the faction that you see over and over again. We saw them in 2016 at both the DNC and RNC uh, conventions, and now you're, you're seeing them really capitalize on this. They may not make up the majority, but they're hell-bent on doing so right. much damage, and it is heartening to see uh, other protesters sort of shuttle them to the police. So if, if you're going out and protesting and you're a peaceful mm -hmm. protester, take some zip ties and subdue some of these people into citizen's arrest. If they are hurting people, if they're lobbing mob, Molotov cocktails, if they're setting things on fire, if they're breaking things and committing crimes, and, and go ahead and, uh, and help them find what they ultimately want, which is apparently arrest. They also sent out a notice over the weekend that they're heading to the burbs to take what's theirs. And uh, you just, yeah. you go, well, I thought you didn't believe in private property. So if you see an Antifa person and they have a backpack, go ahead and mm. take it because they don't believe in private property. So what's theirs is yours. Yeah, we don't want to engage people in, in trying to physically get involved with anybody else. But I, I understand what you're saying, maybe not literally. 14% um, not from Minnesota was the calculation that I was doing there, David. 86% giving a Minnesota address. That means above 10% are not from there. And as Kennedy is pointing out, you only need a few. 14% is, is perhaps a lot more than a few. But if there are only a few coming to these riots, and that's what it is, you have the pretext and the peaceful protests, and then you have the riot, Harris, then the fact is that there are more protesters, rightfully so, and there should be, than there are rioters. So, yeah. Do take them on. You do have the right and the responsibility of getting rid of the bad elements in your protest. As for the people coming in from the outside, and I know it's uncomfortable for some people to hear out there across America some of the plain truths, but the plain truth is being discussed among Americans. And the fact is the environment has to exist for them to come in and create this. We saw this in Ferguson. I watched it rise up around me. And when I warned people that they were doing this, they said, we didn't have a responsibility. Well, yes, we do have a responsibility. Antifa is the action arm. The others that rise up and join them are the action arm that are breaking buildings, bringing pallets of bricks. Uh, when you have an Ivy League-educated lawyer throwing a Molotov cocktail I at an that. NYPD police car, you're not talking about some disenfranchised, homeless Seattle Antifa member here. Come on, America. Let's get real. These people are in there. We've got to deal with them. And I'm with with Kennedy. We have a citizen responsibility. You want to come to the burbs? I got news for you. There are Americans in the burbs, black, white, left, right, doesn't matter, who don't want you there. And it's up to us to realize that mm -hmm. cops can't be everywhere, DOJ can't be everywhere, law enforcement can't be everywhere, but responsibly we can protect our businesses. And when I'm watching videos of business owners, a white woman being beaten by black youths and other youths for standing in front of her business, don't give me this stuff that this is not violent. Yeah. Um, Katie, you know, as we look at these groups, and, and we're going to take a close